Hi friends, today we're going to do something we like to do every once in a while, which is take a look at an old kind of classic gun. And today we're going to be looking at and shooting the very classic Savage 1907. And remember, 10 shots quick. You know, at the time Savage introduced these, Bat Masterson was still alive. <laughs> he was writing a sports column for a newspaper, of all things, and uh, Savage uh, booked him to uh, sponsor the pistol, you know, in, in their ads and whatnot. Uh, Buffalo Bill Cody, too. Uh, but Bat said something I thought was really interesting, was he said, basically, anybody in the old days of the Old West, if you had had a gun like this, you would have run anybody with a revolver right off the range. I always thought they looked pretty awkward, and I never thought that they would feel good. And boy, I was exactly wrong about that. Uh, they're, it's really interesting, too, because they have an original higher capacity magazine. It's, I would call it semi-staggered, kind of. Uh, but they just look awkward to me. And, but what I found when I actually got one in my hand was that it actually fits really comfortably. And the slightly fatter grip, unlike a Remington 51 and even a 1903 Colt, actually fills your hand better and gives you a really good grip. And the peculiar angle right here really allows that sort of point your finger and 10 shots quick. In 1907, Savage developed the original version of this gun, but it was in 45 ACP, and it was made specifically to compete against the Colt 1911. Oddly enough, the final two guns in the competition were the Savage in 45 ACP, and it was a bigger version of this, uh, and the 1911. But unfortunately, the Savage is a pretty complicated gun, and it was a little fragile, and so ultimately the government decided that they liked the reliability of the 1911 design by Browning. Uh, the Savage was breaking small parts and whatnot, and also the Savage cost more. So, Savage lost out. And those original, just about 200 guns that Savage made, they go for up to twenty dollars to $40,000. They were returned to Savage after the military test, and Savage released them to the general market. So check Grandpa's gun, and if it looks like this, but it's a little bigger and 45 ACP, it's time for that vacation. Okay, I'll get us loaded up. We'll move into about seven yards and just kind of do a mag dump on the target. Now, the only hitch here is um, I have an aftermarket magazine in it which only holds eight rounds. So please accept my apologies beforehand, uh, but I think you'll still get the idea of what's going on. Let's shoot. Okay, here we are at toe tapping distance and I've got the uh, 1907 here with my eight rounds quick. And uh, let's get it charged up and see what happens. Okay. I will channel my inner Bat Masterson. No slide lock back, <laughs> but I think you get the general idea. Now, I'm not saying you should go out and buy one of these and carry it, you know, for defensive purposes, but I think, you know, in a pinch you might, especially modern ammunition, you know, uh, you get Corbon and Buffalo Bore, and there's a lot of other, uh, the big makers, they all do pretty effective 32 ACP ammunition nowadays. Uh, if you do get an old gun like this and you're insistent about using it for personal defense, then make sure you replace the springs. Make sure you have it looked over really well by a competent gunsmith who understands the model that you're, you're showing him. Um, I don't recommend any of that. These guns should be for having fun. But, at least in a pinch, we know Bat Masterson just might be right. Okay, I couldn't help myself. After I shot the target, I thought, we need a demonstration of the awesome firepower of the 32 ACP in the Savage 1907. So without further ado, let's shoot a full metal jacket Belgian 32 ACP round and see what happens. Actually, that did a little better than I thought. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm really surprised. I thought for sure I was gonna get a, a visual on the other side of a bullet hole and then glug, 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 you know, water kind of pouring out. And, uh, but it split that sucker right open. I even cheated and I purposefully didn't fill it up all the way so it didn't, you know, expand with pressure. I just figured it'd go glug and then it would come out. So I'm gonna have to revisit this later. <laughs> all right, thanks for, uh, you know, tolerating this. Okay, you guys, hey, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this sort of retrospective look at this classic old gun. We'll be doing some more down the road. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe and feel free to leave some comments. I keep an eye on them and I promise you I will answer them as I can. So, all right, hey, thanks for tuning in and be safe and I'll see you next time.